Hi, everybody. It's me, Mrs. Salazar, and I want to talk to you about your function brochure project. Woo, yes, we're doing another one. This time we're talking about all the different types of functions we've learned so far in Algebra 1. The purpose, the purpose of this assignment is for you to uh, extrapolate all the data that you know, put it together, synthesize, summarize, and tell me what is a linear function? What is a quadratic function? What is a, an exponential function? And then the fourth one, you get to choose. So let's just look at this example. This is from Angie, your tutor. Okay, and her first function she did was a linear function. You see that? Now you can see she color coded it, okay? And so the linear function's description, well, first is the name, then the description. Her description reads, a straight line that extends in two directions endlessly, or she could put continuously. Then right here, all this is vocabulary with definitions from the linear function chapter, chapter two. Then we have our steps to graph. And then over here, we have our examples of the graph. Now, quadratic, right there. See, she color coded it. So linear is yellow, quadratic is orange. Let's turn this around. So then we have quadratic functions, all right? And they make the parabola graph. And she has the definition or the description of a quadratic graph right here. She actually called it the nature of the graph. It says a U-shaped graph that opens upwards or downwards. Then she has um, her vocabulary with definitions, then the steps to graph. And then over here, we have our graphs. And that's in orange, okay? The vocabulary words she used here are not the same vocabulary words for linear, all right? So please don't do that. Our next one is exponential functions. Yay, that's from chapter seven. I should have told you that, uh, sorry. <sighs> Linear is chapter two. Quadratic is chapter eight. And now exponential, that is chapter seven, okay? And the nature of this graph or the description is uh, an increasing or decreasing graph that grows by multiplication or division. And it looks like an L. All right, and then we have our vocabulary words with definitions, the uh, steps to graph, and examples of graphs, okay? And then the last one, let's open this up. All right, so that's quadratic and exponential. Oh, that's right, here we go. Cubic, perfect. So we have the nature of the graph under the cubic title, and it says a S curve with three X intercepts or one Y and one Y intercept. I guess you could put three roots too, right? An x-intercept is a root. Uh, then we have vocabulary, steps to graph, and e examples of the graph. And I like I like how it's organized. You don't have to make it super fancy like this. You don't even have to do it on construction paper. You could do it all on your uh, computer and submit it to me electronically or print it out. It's up to you. But um, I will give you time to work on this when we come back on April 13th if you don't finish it. Um, and this is due April 17th, all right? And this will be counted as a grade for your sticker test. So it's pretty important. It's a project that's worth a test. Please do your very best work. Leave a comment, ask questions, leave a comment on Google Classroom here on YouTube, or just email me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And please also do the spring break review packet, okay? Thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend and stay safe. Wash your hands. Thank goodness.